So here's the question. Is alkaline water a scam? First off, I want to say that I actually own an alkaline water machine. I will say right off of the bat that any bottled alkaline water is totally bogus. I've actually tested them myself. They might be alkaline when they're bottled initially, but by the time it gets to you when you drink it, usually they've lost their alkalinity. Here's the claim that your body should be alkaline. And because of your modern diet and your environmental toxins and your lifestyle, you've become too acidic. And therefore, you're more prone to illness and disease. By drinking alkaline water, you're going to change your acidic body back to an alkaline body, and you're going to be healthier. Let's look at that a little bit more closely. There are a few holes in that argument. First, let's look at the anatomy of the body. Your mouth is supposed to be slightly alkaline. Your stomach is very heavily acidic. Your small intestine is alkaline. Your large intestine, acidic. Your skin, acidic. Your blood is supposed to be slightly alkaline. And then your tissues are also supposed to be slightly alkaline. Really, what these companies should be pointing to is the tissues of the body. But there are problems with that as well. It is very hard to measure the alkalinity or acidity of a tissue. Think about it this way. If you stick a needle into your body, you're going to be rupturing capillaries and blood vessels, and you're going to be contaminating that sample of the intracellular fluid. So there's really no way to tell whether you're too acidic or too alkaline in your tissues. Since we can't measure how alkaline or acidic we are, we don't know exactly how much alkaline water to drink. Being too alkaline in your tissues is just as bad as being too acidic. Again, it needs to be in a certain range for your body to be functioning properly. It is very easy to become too alkaline. Actually, vegetarians can become too alkaline. So, how much should you be drinking? Nobody really knows. They can't test it, so you kind of have to guess. You want to be very careful when drinking alkaline water not to drink too much. I recommend only drinking it for a short period of time. That brings me to my second issue. Like I said in the beginning, your stomach is very acidic. It needs to remain acidic for two specific reasons. The first is to digest proteins. If you don't have acidity in your stomach, you have something called hypochlorhydria, which is low stomach hydrochloric acid. That's a major, major problem for people and a reason why many other systems in the body will be dysregulated. If you can't digest proteins, you're not going to have the raw materials to produce hormones and new tissues. Never, ever drink alkaline water with any meals, especially if they're containing proteins. You're not going to be able to digest proteins, and it's going to sit there and rot in your stomach. The second issue with alkaline water going into your stomach is that you need your stomach acidity to fight off pathogens, which are viruses and bacteria and molds that come in through your food. There's a reason why 80% of your immune system is in your, in your digestive tract. It's because it's a very common place for viruses and bacteria and molds to attack your body. It's so acidic that it kills everything off. However, if you drink alkaline water, you're going to be neutralizing the acidity of your stomach. The third issue that I see with alkaline water has to do with your blood pH. Now remember, your blood needs to be in a very strict range. Knowing that your body regulates it so strictly, it has very sophisticated buffering systems whether you become too acidic or too alkaline in your blood. If you drink alkaline water, you're going to have a major influx of alkalinity flooding your blood. What that's going to do, it's going to stress your buffering system and it's going to be really, over the long run, detrimental to your body if your body has to just freak out and go, oh my god, I have too much alkalinity coming in at the same time. So here's the answer to the question. Is it a scam? I don't think it's necessarily a scam, but I don't think it's right for everybody. If you have a disease that is caused by acidity, alkaline water may be appropriate. But for the average everyday Joe, just drinking normal, clean water will probably be the best way for your body to regulate itself. I still use my alkaline water machine uh, when I go to the gym because I do produce a lot of acid during my workout and I feel like it does neutralize some of those acids that are produced as a byproduct of my metabolism kicking up. 
but that's about the only time that I'm actually using my alkaline water anymore. Of course, I paid a lot of money for the thing, so it's kind of sitting there, unfortunately, but at the very least, I'm not damaging my body. Well, that's it. I'm sure this is going to be one of the more controversial videos that I do. If you'd like to schedule an appointment with me for either a video conferencing or a phone appointment, or stop by and see me in Southern California, please contact me at tim at livelike and I'll be happy to set up an appointment with you.